All right, guys, we got the uh, golf cart moved around here in the shop. Uh, I just got it moved in the spot. Uh, we'll give you a little walk around, a little better look at what we got going on here. Uh, start out with the power plant. It is an eight horse Kohler Magnum. Well, there's my flight for you guys to see in there. But uh, that's the power plant for now. Uh, Here's the shift cable for the original rear end. Hopefully we can reuse it. Um, this, this does have a tilt bed that goes on here that tilts. That's what this rod here is. It's like a shock absorber. I have a power lift to put on it. Uh, like I said before, this is a Cushman. Old one. This thing is built like a tank. This is that steel tread plate on it. Back of the seat's all steel tread plate side on it here is all steel tread plate the uh, floorboards all steel tread plate the only thing that is not steel is this little plastic piece here um, it's got tread plate that goes all the way around the front big old front bumper on it um, there's the original tires and sh springs that go in the back u-bolts um, the seats seats nasty luckily I know a guy that does upholstery work there's a look down in the engine compartment. Battery goes over here. Normal, got the fuel tank on that side, everything. Uh, I don't know if this has a fuel pump on. I imagine it does, the way it's set up in here. Um, we're gonna check to see if uh, Mark from Twisted V-Twin Garage, he's got the old homeless Honda, the V-Twin, 20 horse. We're gonna see if that sucker will fit in here. If it does, guess what? The homeless Honda will have a home. So, um, right down in here, you can see the that's the cross member there where the axle sits. Same thing on this side. Three spots back there where the sp springs sit. Um, I'm going to get my gantry crane set up here and get this thing lifted up in the air and uh, drop that carriage and see if we can't roll that axle in here and. Get it, uh, get it in place and see what we got from there to see if we can get this rear end on. Uh, these are temporary roll around tires, like I said before in my last video. Uh, those will be coming off, but that's what we're working with, guys. Um, like I said, hopefully everything goes well and we can uh, get this thing going. We'll bring it back after we get the gantry and stuff set up and get her lifted up. Alright guys, as you can see, I got the temporary wheels off. I got the strap off that was holding the uh, uh, rear axle or rear suspension. I got my gantry set up, kind of holding that. Um, I'm wanting to kind of drop that down as far as I can, but when I let it down, the muffler hits the fender well there. So I might uh, try to loosen that up, possibly. Ooh if i can and uh get that exhaust off there and uh, that way i can drop this thing almost all the way down to the ground and get the other end in here and set in here so uh i'll get uh get you guys set up here and see if we can't get that exhaust off there all right guys plan b uh i got my earthquake uh 3 8 20 volt impact i uh, brought it home from work see if this thing will take it off Hey, look at that. She's loose. Now, I don't think I can, I can't get on that, this one here with that. Um, let me see if I can get a wobble extension here and get on that one. All right, guys, I didn't have a wobble extension, so I went to the next best thing. Half inch drive, longer handle. Oh, look at that. That's how it comes out. It must have been scared. So, okay, that's loose. Get that slid back up here on this. Maybe. All right, there's that. Now, on the other side, I'll get you moved around. On the other side here, there's two bolts holding the muffler itself. Uh, let me get you moved around for you can see what that's going. Hey right, guys, there's two bolts here and then back up underneath the end of this shaft underneath you guys there's two bolts holding it to the motor 
I'm going to take these two bolts out, take those two bolts out, and uh, see if I can get this muffler to uh, move around. Oh, look at that. That's just loose in the head, but all right. So, all right, guys. Let me uh, let me get some stuff moved around here, and uh, I'll see if I can't get that pipe to come out of there. So, I'll get you guys moved around a little bit too. All right, guys, I got that front bracket all the way off. I got me a sacrificial pry driver here. I'm going to try to loosen this uh, section here up. It's rusted on pretty decent. Um, see if I can't... Uh, that moved pretty good there. Still pretty tight up in there. I don't know how far that thing goes up in there, but. Problem is, is it's turning here in the head. This pipe is comes out of here. Um, I don't really want to unbolt the whole motor just to just to get the rear end in if I don't have to. But um, I don't know. I'll shut the camera off. Work on this a little bit, and I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys. Plan A and B didn't work out, so we're opting for Plan C. We're going to take the diagrammer right in the and just cut this pipe off. And then we'll deal with that muffler, you know, outside the cart and uh, deal with it outside. I can get a new piece of pipe, ain't no big deal. So we're going to do that. And she's out. So now let me go here and we'll get this suspension and engine cradle dropped down enough that we can uh, get the new other end in here and mocked up. All right, guys. I got the uh, donor end sitting here, and the one big thing is is how this end mounted into the old cart was it has some like U-bolt type things here with rubber bushings. Uh, there's no, if you can see up in there, there's pins at the rear end for alignment on the rear end. Uh, they do not have those on that rubber, on that rubber mount. But I do have the old mounts that uh, go underneath of this from the old uh, cart, and they do have the locating pin on them. I don't know, haven't got underneath there yet, and checked to see if these holes are going to be wide enough to uh, go around that square tubing. 
it looks like they might just be wide enough and then I'll have to um, either get some all thread or something and some plates underneath to cinch it down or uh, maybe some squared off u-bolt style and uh, do it that way I don't know yet but uh, I guess we'll get that taken care of but uh, I'm gonna take these old brake cables off um, they're still on there I'm gonna try to use the ones that come on the original cart laying up underneath there if I can if I can't then we'll uh, we'll go for plan B but uh, when we get to that point we'll uh, we'll, we'll deal with it uh, but let's uh, let's see if we can get these plates here lined up and sitting on there and get this axle at least sitting in there somewhat square all right guys kind of a new development here you can see down in here the original mounting places on the axle will not work in their current configuration uh, they're just a little bit too wide uh, same thing on this side but the other thing is is where the driven clutch on the rear end and the drive clutch on the motor are they don't line up so um, there are some other holes in the uh, engine plate down there it looks like the motor can come over which ain't no big deal we can move it we can drill new holes um, so that's where we're at right now the big question is is do we make new mounts for the axle weld them onto the axle and put this axle under the suspension which will actually lift the cart up some uh, lift it up a good uh, four inches probably which would be nice um, the only thing is is this front end is a little different than most uh, I can't I don't think I can get four inches of lift out of the front end or do we just put uh, plan B is to make plates weld them onto there drill down through that uh, swing arm and uh, run two bolts down through the original mount there and uh, down through the swing arm and then have the plate extending out past the out past the uh, swing arm there and two bolts on the outside edge I think that would probably be the easiest but uh, yeah that's uh, that's where we're at right now so <clears throat> alright guys a um, little more on this uh, my idea of putting the uh, axle underneath the swing arm will not work as you can see I mean this this axle has to roll up a little bit but there's a cross member right there and so we're gonna have to keep her on top uh, so I guess the uh, idea of putting a, adding a plate down here to this where this uh, alignment pins already at I guess that's where we're gonna have to go with it and uh, we'll uh, probably make a plate that goes clear across that swing arm comes out and probably some gussets going down the sides to help keep it from bending there and everything so uh, yeah that's where it uh, now I'm gonna end this video so uh, thanks for stopping and uh, appreciate you hanging out with me here in the shop checking out what we got going on like I said uh, leave some leave a comment down there and what you think I should do on this on this swing arm here uh, leave a thumbs up comment subscribe and uh, We'll bring you all back when we uh, move on to the second half of this, or second part of this. Uh, putting this rear end into a easy go rear end into a Cushman golf cart. So, thanks a lot for stopping. Catch you next time.